Hey everybody, thanks for watching this video. Um, I'm pretty stoked, I just picked up this little Pioneer DJM 450. Uh, it's a pretty good mixer for home use. It's sort of like a mini 900 Nexus 2. There's a few features it doesn't have that the Nexus, uh, Nexus 900 2 has, but um, you know, it's a lot less money. That's the thing, and that was the point behind this mixer is to, to give you know, people at home a, a pretty capable home mixer without having to, having to spend two thousand dollars you know and some of the differences over here on the color it's got four of them instead of six it's missing uh what's called crush and space and then on the headphone it has a tone adjustment instead of a, a, a high and a low and only has one mic input it's not a big deal um, and then over here it doesn't have an X-pad, you know, a little X-pad thing. And it's got eight effects instead of 13. And it doesn't have the option to choose if you want to send the effect to the low, the mid, or the high. You know, it's just all the same. And it doesn't have a booth output, uh, which isn't a big deal for home use because how often in your bedroom are you really going to need a, uh, you know, a booth? You really aren't. You know, your speakers are in close proximity to your ears and technically if you wanted to you could use the master 2 output go from uh, RCA to XLR and you could just use the volume control on the back of those monitors so you could have a booth if you really wanted one but I don't see why you'd need one so I also picked up these Mackie uh, MR8s these 8 inch MR8 um, Mark 3s and they're really really loud there's a volume control on the back and if I'm not careful, I'm going to be just cranking them way too loud for my neighbors. So what I'm trying to do is get the reading on my mixer set in a, in a good spot and give me a little bit of room to turn up these speakers. You know, I, I mean, if I really get this mixer cranking, I basically cannot turn these speakers up at all. And I touch that volume control in the back and they're just blasting. So I kind of got to get the mixer in a reasonable spot before I turn the volume up on the back of the speakers. And usually when I would set a mixer, what I'd like to do is uh, get the, my master reading higher than my channel. I don't like to do it the other way where you got, you know, your channels all the way up here like this. And then, uh, I don't know, your master, you know, much lower. I don't, you know, look at my master is in the middle and look how much lower it is than my channel. I just, I don't really like to to DJ like that. Um, you know, there's just, it's just such a strong signal coming out of your channel. You're, you're flirting with uh, distortion. You're getting really close to it. And, you know, I wouldn't want to like hit distortion and then just be pushing distortion out into that, out into the master. So what I, I like to do is get it set up so that the master is a, a better or taller readout than the channel, but there's really no very good way to do that on this mixer. I was just so surprised. And maybe this is common with Pioneer. You know, I, I admit I don't have a lot of experience with Pioneer. Um, you know, I, I have experience with older mixers like the PPDs, you know, the mixers from that era. So, but if I did want to get... Um, the reading on my master a little bit taller than the reading on the channel. Here's what I have to do. First, let me just go ahead and turn the master all the way down. And now we'll take the, the trim and just move it down to like zero here. There. Okay, you got the, got the channel on zero. <coughs> and now, if I want to get the reading on the master just a little bit taller than that, look what I have to do to my master. I have to literally like crank it like all the way up. I have to freaking crank it so far up. And that's the, the only way that I can get my master higher than my level. And now from here, if I was to turn the volume up on these speakers, they would just be freaking cooking. So I, I can't do that. So now you got to turn your trim way down. And so here, uh, there we go. That's a pretty good spot. Now from here, I could get away with um, with turning up the volume on the back of these Mackies and not having them too loud. But look what I had to do just to achieve that. 
I had to turn my trim way down and I had to crank my master and my level is cranked as well. I mean, the whole mixer is just maxed out except for the trim, right? It's just strange to me. You know, it seems like I should be able to, uh, I don't know, put the trim like somewhere around like there and have the master maybe like here or something. And, but look what happens when you do that. I, I got my channel taller than my master. And, you know, it's, I just don't like to do that. That's just not how I was brought up DJing. You know, you do it the other way. And, and unfortunately, on this mixer, the only way to do that is to turn the trim way down and to crank the master. And that is just so strange to me that, that I, I have to do that. I just literally can't believe that, you know, I have to push this mixer so hard just to get the master taller. But anyway, this is a pretty safe spot and this is probably how I'm going to be DJing, you know, in my bedroom or wherever I set all this stuff up. And if you guys, you know, maybe there's something I'm just not figuring out here or I don't know. I mean, is everyone really just going around like this nowadays? I mean, I suppose if you wanted to, you could put them identical. So now, let's see here. We can get that. All right. Yeah, so now I got the master and the channel the same. And if I just turn the trim down, the master is just going to follow it. So I could just do that, I suppose. And mix like that. But really, I prefer the master to be a little bit higher. But again, to do that, I really have to turn it all the way up. Anyway, man, uh, I'm pretty stoked with the mixer. I just find that such a strange dynamic that I really have to do all that just to get it the way that I want it to be. Um, maybe Pioneer does it on purpose to like help protect sound systems or something and they don't want to give people all this power but I mean still look I got this trim <laughs> it's just, there's tons of power left there I could blow it that way but anyway and it just seems odd to me that I have to do that but if you guys have any tips or suggestions please let me know and otherwise uh, thanks so much for watching this video have a good one